objective noted. Curious. I need a shovel to dig this up. examining perhaps we should have stayed in Elturel this is about your precious borders gate No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship! Take that back, right now! This grove is kept by Sylvanus's faithful. for a good while after no this. It. We're exposed now. Ah! This'll leave a mark. Oh, bloody what? goblins! Don't make me hurt you, boy! Too late! Looking at you is painful enough! Can't wait to get back to the gate. If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here, and losing track of the bloody druid. They chased us, all the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Aye. His name's Halsin, and if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. 
If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. Supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. You sound like your father. Yeah, right. Well, it was his caravan. Stop me yet. Found you, Lord. Oh, you have me. Touch me, and I'll bite your fingers off. I will. Shouldn't be too long now. Goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blades. Give it back, kid. I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? Mm. I ain't leaving town for a good while after this. Mind my step. <clears throat> and we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. No bother. We're just daydreaming, anyhow. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. Give it back, kid. I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? Nearly ready. <clears throat> Where's that old bucket? Uh, I miss my forge. Hope the goblins aren't smart enough to point. I have something blade. to ask. Don't you lie to me, boy? Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel.
Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. How stupid are you? Hells take me. What I wouldn't do for better tools. What to bring? Nearly ready. Looking for steel? I have, well, something close.
Druids. Who uses head. wooden tools? You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Go ahead, turn that pretty nose of yours up. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. What do I do for some salt? Not reaction. You saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now while we still can. <laughs> That's a good attitude. Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me.
time to rest? Why, hello there, sweetness. Give it back, kid. Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as that. But I come from a long line of women with a dab hand at such things. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, it is just a healing potion. Nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Something doesn't add up about this one. Don't tell her anything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother. Don't you like me, boy? I know you have it. Touch me and I'll... Bite your fingers off! I will! Thank you. 
Take care now, sweetie. Next, I wonder. Oh. Someone there? In fact, I already told you I don't have it. How stupid are you? Onward. Right. I've got food. Water. My dagger. We must speak. Goblins, druids! This grove is a death trap! Grab what you can and get out! That's my advice. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can. eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Lower. You saw another gith. Where? On the road, to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. Call your blood. I'll indulge you soon enough. Gods, deliver me.
ready. Whatever it takes. Food, water. Eager for battle. Swing and... Oh. Proceeding. Is that blood? No, never mind. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Soon, you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. 
when the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the Parasite. By Covenant, I can say no more. wanted the easy path. Children! Look who's here. Again. Swing. Step. Harry. Strike. Damn it! It's just not landing. Nothing but. Goblins in the wild, out for blood, and the druids in here looking to kick us out. Or worse. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Rage, you say? <laughs> Step, brace, parry, swift go! Still not landing. and step and swivel swing! Yes! You really know what you're doing. Uh, found this by the road. Bet you'll put it to good use. Don't let the druids hear you say that. They're itching for an excuse to get rid of us. But I'll keep at it. Thank you. Elbows high, now pull back and swing. Oh, the waiting's getting to me. The Blade of Frontiers. <laughs> what a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship.
You see the fiend again and ignite with Will's rancor. She is an infernal war devil, a threat to the living, evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. This is boring. We should train against real goblins. Bite your fingers off. I will. Stupid apprenticeship! 